My name is Chelsea Tarbox, and I'm a peer advisor for the Office of First Year Advising and Exploration here at UCF. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the grade forgiveness policy and how to go about declaring grade forgiveness through my UCF. Grade forgiveness is the opportunity to retake a course and earn a grade that will be substituted for the previous grade in the UCF and overall GPAs. The use of grade forgiveness is limited to two times during a student's undergraduate career. Grade forgiveness attempts can only be used on courses taken and repeated at UCF. The deadline to apply for grade forgiveness is the withdrawal deadline during the semester that the class is being repeated. So the first thing you're going to do is to sign on to your MyUCF account. Once this page loads, you're going to want to navigate over to the Student Self-Service tab. Now you're going to want to navigate over to the Other Academic drop-down menu, and you're going to select the option of Grade Forgiveness Application. So here we see the page where you're going to declare grade forgiveness. First of all, make sure that you are selecting the correct semester in which you are planning to take the course and not the semester that you previously took the course. Let's say that this student wishes to apply for grade forgiveness in the spring 2013 semester. You are going to want to navigate up to the drop down menu and you're going to want to select spring 2013. Once you have selected the term in which you want to apply for grade forgiveness in, you are going to see the courses that you are registered for within that term. This psychology student is taking a multitude of different psychology courses. Let's say that this student failed Chemistry 2040 in Fall 2012 and wishes to apply for grade forgiveness for the same course in Spring 2013. We would select the course in which we were applying grade forgiveness for, which in this case is the Chemistry 2040 course. Now as you can see, this student has already applied for grade forgiveness for this course, so we cannot apply for the same course twice. Once you have selected the correct course, you are going to want to hit Submit. Once you have applied for grade forgiveness, you're going to want to navigate back over to the Student Self-Service tab. Once this page loads, you're going to want to navigate back to the Other Academic drop-down menu, and this time you're going to want to select Grade Forgiveness Status. This page can serve as a status check for every grade forgiveness course declared. So as we can see, this student has successfully applied for grade forgiveness for Chemistry 2040 for the semester of Spring 2013. We can verify the information by looking at the term, the course ID, and the description. Under Grade is where the new course grade will appear once the course has been completed. Please keep in mind that if you were to receive a lower grade during the second attempt of a course, the grade forgiveness policy automatically takes the second grade, regardless of if it was lower or higher than the first attempted grade. From all of us here at the First Year Advising and Exploration Office, thank you for watching and listening. Have a wonderful semester. Go Knights!